Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome on back to another reaction video. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Sam, aka OGB Reacts. I'm a first time movie reactor here on YouTube, posting every Tuesday and Friday, and I also stream over here occasionally as well. The movie that I'm watching for this video has been heavily requested ever since I watched Interstellar, but before that as well. For this video, I'll be watching The Martian from 2015. The only things that I do know about this film is that Matt Damon is in it and that it's in space and that's it. But I've also heard that a lot of people really enjoyed this movie and that it's really well done. So with that, if you're here right now watching, I really do appreciate you and thank you for watching. And to those of you over on Patreon, I really do appreciate you guys over there as well. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying all the full unedited reaction videos and the access to the polls. If you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel you can absolutely do so over on my patreon it is five dollars a month for that i also have a tier over there that is solely for the polls which are ran every single friday and then it's two dollars a month for that so yeah i'm ready to dive on into this i have no idea what i'm about to get into but i'm excited to watch so really do hope that you all like this reaction and i shall see you on the other side enjoy All right, Matt Damon, what kind of trouble are you gonna get into? Uh, happy to turn the radios off from here, Commander. Just say the word. Wait, uh, Johansson, that constant communication is the hallmark Shut him of off. any team that- No. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, boy, here we go. This is it. <laughs> uh, we have a mission update. Storm warning. I saw that in this morning's briefing. We'll be inside before it hits. Yeah, they, they upgraded their estimate. Uh, the storm's gonna be a lot worse. Well, time for people to die, I guess. Martinez, how's it look? Uh, terrible, actually. It's based on current escalation estimated force of 8,600 newtons. What's the abort force? 7,500. Oh! If anything more than that, ah. go back to tip. Oh, scrub. boy. Begin abort procedure. You ready? Ready! Well, that's terrifying. Anger it with the rover! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Warning, suit breach detected. What happened? He was hit! What did he report? I don't know where he is! What are the vitals on his wow. suit? Wow. Negative, he's online! Lost of signal on Watney. Bitch! Yeah! Damn! I'm gonna search a little longer. Get moving! Yeah, he got oh. smacked. Like, he's gone. Stability warning. Uh, Commander, you need to get back to the ship now. Girl, come on. He got completely decimated. Mark! Sorry, Mark. Wait, was that Matt Damon's character? Lunch. Yeah, that was Matt Damon's character. I thought it was someone else. So they're leaving him behind. He's gonna be alive. Oh man, that's terrifying. Unfortunately, during the evacuation, astronaut Mark Watney was struck by debris and killed. Commander yeah. Lewis and the rest of her team were able to intercept safely. Mark Watney is dead. But plot twist, he's not. Oh man, that's, oh, this is gonna be scary. It's gonna be a scary story, honestly. Being completely alone on a completely different planet, yeah. No thanks. Crazy how he is alive, actually. Oxygen level critical. Oh man. Ah. Oh. Yeah, you can't take that out. See, as cool as it would be to be like a spaceman like this. Mm. -mm. Nope. Ooh. Oh! 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 What is in the ow? Ow, ow, ow. Fuck. Oh, 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 oh! Ow! Ow! <laughs> that just takes so much 
willpower <laughs> to do that all yourself on yourself. Yeah, no. Surprise. <laughs> I did not die on Soul 18. The antenna and, and the blood really managed to seal the breach in my suit, wow. which kept me alive, even though the crew must have thought I was dead. Yeah. I have no way to contact NASA. Really? And even if I could, it's going to be four years until a manned mission can reach me. That's crazy that he has no way to contact NASA. You would think that they would be able to somehow, at least, you know, in this movie, in this setting. I'm not gonna die here. Okay. Good for you. Like, what could you do? What can you possibly do? 35, 36. Sweet and sour chicken. Okay. Oh, wow. Let's do the math. I gotta figure out a way to grow three years worth of food here. Yeah. On a planet where nothing grows. Luckily, I'm a botanist. <laughs> Mars will come to fear my botany powers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, it's a good thing they stored their poop. <laughs> the thing is, he has all of these supplies and like, that's literally going to make him survive. He just has to utilize them properly, you know? He has the means. <laughs> and that's a good thing considering there are so many, you know, space like horror stories where they don't have the means. Oh, wow. Oh, fuck you, Mars. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. Hope it works, man. Wow. The problem is water. Good thing is I know the recipe. You take hydrogen, you add oxygen, you burn. Luckily, in the history of humanity, nothing bad has ever happened from lighting hydrogen on fire. <laughs> I am sorry, Martinez, but if you didn't want me to go through your stuff, you shouldn't have left me for dead on a desolate planet. Uh <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, I mean, glad he's a smart cookie. I guess you can't really not be a smart cookie if you're a space man. <laughs> Ow! So, yeah. <laughs> I blew myself up. Yeah! Best guess, I forgot to account for the excess oxygen that I've been exhaling when I did my calculations. Ah. Uh. Because wow. I'm stupid. Oh, oh, oh man. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, keep the helmet on. Wow, yeah, I mean, that's really crazy. Days are going. Hell yeah! Hey there. Good for him. I'm glad he's doing well. He's literally in a situation where it's impossible to survive, basically. Right now, the world's on our side. Sympathy for the Watney family. Every six could bring his body home. We don't say that's the purpose of the mission, but we make it clear that that would be a part of it. We frame it that way. Mm -hmm. More support from Congress, but not if we wait a year. We wait a year, nobody gives a shit. Yeah, that's a great point, actually. Unfortunately, as time goes on, the sympathy lessens, I guess. So, kind of weird to say take advantage of the sympathy, but like, kind of, yeah, do that a little. <laughs> oh, are you gonna find out that he's alive? <gasps> Wait, what? Yes! Yes! Yeah, how did that get moved? Hey, uh, director, we got a little issue. If Watney is really alive, we don't want the Ares 3 crew to know. How, how can you not tell them? They have another 10 months on their trip home. The space travel is dangerous. They need to be alert and undistracted. But they already think he's dead. And um... they'd be devastated to find out they left him there alive. Right, I'm sorry, yeah. But you have not thought this through. I mean, what, what are we gonna say? 
Dear America, remember that astronaut we killed and had a really nice funeral for? Turns out he's alive and we left him on Mars. Our bad. Sincerely, NASA. Also true, yeah. Realize. The hell is he thinking right now? <laughs> he's I'm doing definitely his best. gonna die up here. <laughs> listen to any more god-awful disco music. Oh my god. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna turn the beat around. I really <laughs> the next NASA mission is Ares 4, and it's supposed to land at Schiaparelli Crater, 3,200 kilometers away. In four years, when the next Ares crew arrives, I'll have to be there, which means oh. I have to get to the crater. Wow. This journey is gonna take me roughly 50 days Damn. to complete. So I gotta, I gotta live for 50 days inside a rover with marginal life support the size of a small van. Oh. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Yeah, big time. Wow, that's oh, just another task he has to do. Okay, so success. I have doubled my battery life, but if I use the heater, I will burn through half my battery every day wow if i do not i will be <laughs> slowly killed by the laws of thermodynamics mm -hmm. good news i may have a solution to my heating problem i hope so bad news it involves me digging up the radioisotope thermoelectric generator hmm. now if i remember my training correctly one of the lessons was titled don't dig up the big box of plutonium mark uh, uh, <laughs> as long as i don't break it I almost just said everything will be fine out loud. Look, the point is, I'm not cold anymore. And sure, I could choose to think about the fact that I'm warm because I have a decaying radioactive isotope right, right. right behind me, but right now I got bigger problems on my hands. Wow, so radiation poisoning, cancer, yeah. Yeah, even with that like tinfoil thing around it, it's like you're, he's probably gonna be getting some sort of radiation like cancer, you know? Bruce, what's the earliest we can get a pre-supply there? Well, with the positions of Earth and Mars, it'll take nine months. Oh. <laughs> it'll take six months to build it in the first place. Three months. Uh, oh. Three? That's... You're going to say it's impossible, and then I'm going to make a speech about the blinding capabilities of the JPL team, and then you're going to do the math in your head and say something like the overtime alone will be a nightmare. The overtime alone will be a nightmare. Get started. I'll find you the money. Damn. That's crazy. We need to tell the crew. Mitch, oh my God! There's so many no, you discuss this. notable people in this. You got Wong, you got the guy from Game of Thrones. Bruce has three months to get the payload done. That's all that matters right now. We'll do our best. Mark dies if you don't. Damn! It's like I get it, but wow. I the potatoes, so Whoa! Now it's time to reap and re-sow. Hell yeah! Do even better than I expected. I now have 400 healthy potato plants. Yeah! <laughs> I know what I'm gonna do. Uh huh. Yeah, he's gonna get sick of eating potatoes, but if uh, he stays alive, that, then you gotta eat all the potatoes you can. Oh, he's moving again. Where the hell is he going? This has a daily of Planitia. There's nothing out there except the. What? I need a map. Uh. Yeah, okay. Okay. I know where he's going. I need to get on an airplane. Wonder what's there. What is this? What are the chances Mark can get it working again? It's hard to say. We lost contact in '97. Oh. You think this was battery failure? Oh, okay. Is this the replica? This is her. Okay. Pathfinder. Ah, okay. Pathfinder. Wow, that's crazy. Now, I wonder what he's going to do with that. Oh, there you go. Holy shit. Wow. OK, uh, signal applied. <laughs> All right. That is absolutely wild. We can communicate through that? That's insane. Uh, incoming. Are uh, you receiving me? Wow. <laughs> Very nice. Insane. Insane stuff. Somehow, we have to have complex astrophysical engineering conversations using nothing but a still frame camera. Yeah. From 1996. 
The camera does spin. So I can make an alphabet. Oh. It can't be our alphabet. Hexadecimal to the rest of it. Huh. God, you know, he's so freaking smart. He is, he is the best person to be left alone on this planet. <laughs> Gotta replicate it. Yeah, don't miss a letter. Or, well, a number in this case. Now that we can have more complicated conversations, the smart people at NASA have sent me instructions on how to hack the rover so that it can talk to Pathfinder. Oh! If I hack a tiny bit of code, just 20 instructions in the rover's operating system, NASA can link the rover to Pathfinder's broadcasting frequency, and we're in business. This is so cool! <laughs> Space is terrifying, but things like this, this is cool, you know? <laughs> All right, so now it should be easier communication. Yes, perfect. Glad to hear it. Really looking forward to not dying. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How's the crew? Well, what did they say when they found out I was alive? I don't know. I know it's a hard thing to say, but I feel like he would understand considering the circumstances. Yeah, okay, maybe not. <laughs> they don't know I'm alive? What the F word? <laughs> F word in German form, F word again is wrong with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch your language. Everything you type is being broadcast live all over the world. Yeah? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh my god. Oh, fuck, yes, fuck, 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 fuck! <laughs> Problem is, Mark's right. The longer we wait, the worse it's gonna get. We need to tell the crew. I completely get him being angry with them. A part of me was like, okay, maybe he'll understand. No, no, I get it though. I really do. But it's hard because it's just like, okay, if you tell them they're going to feel really, really, really guilty for leaving. But I don't know. Is that better than leaving them in the dark? Hmm. Hello, it's, uh, it's Mitch, Mitch Henderson. I have some news. Mark Watney is still alive. Oh my God. Uh, but it's not your fault. Mark stresses that every time it comes up. No, he did the right thing. He, he did the right thing. I left him behind. Can't. You can't. You had a horrible situation presented in front of you. You guys were all going to die if you didn't leave like that moment. You couldn't find him, you know? He was smacked away. You couldn't find him. They say that once you grow crops somewhere, you've officially colonized it. So, technically, I colonized Mars. Good for you. In your face, Neil. <laughs> what is he doing? I asked for a photo and what, he's the Fonz? <laughs> I hate this margin. 912 souls worth of food. We get there on 868. And that's assuming nothing goes wrong. Yeah. I mean, if he keeps planting, or they estimate, they might be estimating the how much he will get from his harvest, I guess. I mean, we're only an hour in. There's tons of things that can go wrong and probably will go wrong, so. Yep, 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 yep. No! Oh my God. Holy shit. Breach detected. Damn! <gasps> oh my god. Wow. Suit pressure stable. Jesus. What did I just say? Right? Good lord. I literally said that like 15 seconds before this garbage happened. No! Your potatoes! Damn. That's so unfortunate. God, 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 God! Yeah. Yeah. Crops are dead. We're gonna have to launch as soon as possible, which changes our travel time. We need 13 days to mount the boosters, perform inspections, which gives Bruce and his team 47 days to make this probe. 
Holy. I'll let you call Bruce. Give him the news. Uh, thanks. Damn, dude. So he can't replant, like he can't redo it? Sorry, we left you behind on Mars, but we just don't like you. Uh. We have to take turns doing your tasks. But I mean, it's only botany. <laughs> it's not oh. real science. Damn. <laughs> Man, that's so sad. Of course, something good happens where he literally is able to grow and get food that way. But no, of course, of course, I had to blow up. Oh, my God. Big ass fly. Jesus. That works, I guess. Man. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. Uh, I don't know if that's going to hold up. Uh, yeah. It's scary. Oh, Sorry, but they're wow. asking for the probe courses. Not a good time to launch, is it? Yeah. Earth and Mars are really badly positioned. Heck, it'd almost be easier if you, um... Oh. Easier to what? Once again, very notable people in this movie. It's crazy. Ten days of Fatesta's inspections. How often do those inspections reveal a problem? Well, are you suggesting we don't do the inspections? Right now, uh, I'm asking how often they reveal a problem. One oh in 20. Oh, my God. But that's grounds for countdown hall. Dr. Keller, stretch Watney's rations four more days. You're not going to like it, but that'll get us to 15. And we'll cancel the inspections. Teddy. Up, sir, if that ever got out. It's on me. You got your two weeks. Get it done. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I really understand, but we're going to sacrifice safety to try to get him home, you know? <laughs> Nobody can stop me. Wow. It has been seven days since I ran out of ketchup. Oh, no. Oh, God, I really hope that that <sighs> delivery makes it, please. <laughs> you believe in God, Vincent? We'll take all the hell we can get. Yeah, start praying to every God. Three, two, two, one. Oh. Please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. We're getting a little shimmy flight. Yep. And you're fired. Are you kidding me? Oh, God. This is why you don't cut corners. Like, I get it. It's a rescue mission. He he is running out of food, but like, I don't know. He is smart enough to try to ration things as best as he possibly can. So even though it's a shitty situation, like, let him do that. And so you're going to cut corners with inspections and then the whole thing blows up. You're an asshole, right? Come on. I need you to check in on my parents. Tell them I love what I do. And tell them thank you. My mom and dad. Oh, God. In order to make our launch window, we were forced to accelerate our schedule. Yeah. Yeah.还有其他的办法。太阳神的助推器，我们的工程师检查过数据，它的容量可以到达火星的轨道。哈。Thank you. Fired. Yes. What? See, I am surprised right, he's not uh, fired, though, my you know? Uncle Tommy in China, we got another chance at this. Uh, <laughs> now, we finished the iris probe in 62 days. We are now going to attempt to finish it in 28. Jeez. And you have something up your sleeve, and I'm very curious as to what. Huh. You should hang up the phone. I'm sorry, who are you? My name is Rich Purnell. I work in Astro Dynamics, and you should hang up the phone right now. Uh, <laughs> Your pro plan won't work. Too many things can go wrong. I've got a better way. Oh, okay. Astro Dynamics. Yeah. What the hell is Project Elrond? The Council of Elrond is for, that's from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. It's the meeting where they <laughs> decide to destroy the one man. I hate every one of you. <laughs> I can get the Hermes back to Mars by Sol 561. How? 
that's a severe jump in, or cut in time from their schedule. Okay, let's pretend that this stapler is the Hermes and you are, I'm sorry, what's your name again? Teddy. I'm the director of NASA. <laughs> cool, Teddy, you're. We start accelerating immediately. We resupply with the probe. The Taiyang Shen. Pick up whatever provisions we need. Oh, and now wow. We're accelerating towards Mars. Watney would intercept using the MAV. <laughs> Very smart. Wow. I've done the math. Checks out. Rich? Yes, sir. Get out. Uh <laughs> <laughs> what about the Hermes crew? We'd be asking them to add 533 extra days to their mission. Yeah, they wouldn't hesitate, not for a second. Exactly, yeah. We still have a chance to bring five astronauts home safe and sound. I'm not risking their lives. Let them make that decision. Mitch? Yeah. We're going with option one. Mm. You goddamn coward. Woo! He's right. I mean, let. of course they're going to say yes, right? Like, all of them are probably going to be like, yeah, we're going back. We left him there. We're going back. I don't really know what we're looking at. It's... Um... Does that make any sense to you? And the mission concludes with Earth intercept 211 days later. Would it work? Yeah, he mm -hmm. definitely and sent the that. They check out. It's a brilliant course. It's so wild, the cloak and dagger. Because it goes directly against NASA's decision. Yeah. Well, it has to be unanimous. Yes. How about you? Let's go get him. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was pretty much a given that they were all going to say yes. Crew made the decision on their own. You may have killed them, Mitch. When this is over, I'll expect your resignation. Damn. So the plan is for me to use that to go into orbit just as the Hermes is passing, and I guess they catch me in space. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad uh, China's helping. <laughs> wow, geez, so many kids. All right, please don't blow up. Yeah, I probably won't blow up because they did their inspections. Right on the money. See, math and science is amazing. That you can get it so precise. That's like, it's just insane. Payload received. Time to go back. God. So, didn't they say before that it would take another four years for another crew to get to Mars? Seven months later. But it's taking less time for them to go back now. Is it because of just like building it and all of that? Wow. Now NASA is an American non-military organization. It owns the HAB. But the second I walk outside, I'm in international waters. So here's the cool part. Is I'm gonna be taking a craft over in international waters without permission, which by definition makes me a pirate. <laughs> Mark Watney. Wow. Space pirate. Space pirate. Hell yeah. All right. Good luck, man. So everything from here on out is going to go swimmingly, right? No problems at all. Yeah? So far, so good. Hilly's uh, sticking to schedule. Drives for four hours before noon, lays the solar panels, waits 13 hours for them to recharge, and sleeps somewhere in there, and then wow. starts again. All of that for just four hours of driving. That's so messed up, actually. He asked us to call him Captain Blondebeard. Ah! Well, technically, Mars would be under maritime. Yeah, no, I know. He explained it to yep. us. Yep. <laughs> OK, uh, we're going to start by stating for the record that you're not going to like this. Oh, uh, yeah? In order for Mark to escape Mars's gravity entirely and to, to intercept the Hermes... He has to be going fast. Exactly. Which means we need to make the map lighter. A lot lighter, 5,000 kilograms lighter. Well, wow. you can do that, right? We'll get Mark to wear his EVA suit for the no, whole trip. Wait a second. If he's in his EVA suit, how's he gonna operate the controls? Well, he won't. Martinez will pilot the MAV <laughs> wow. remotely from We've the We've never Hermes. had a manned ship controlled remotely before. 
If we go remote, we can lose the control panels, the secondary tertiary comm systems. Wait, wait a second. You want a, what? You want a re remote control descent with no backup comms? He's not even got to the bad stuff yet, Minister. Uh, well, let's skip to <laughs> the bad stuff. We need to remove the nose airlock, the windows, and whole panel 19. You want to send a man into space without the fun of his well, ship? Well, no. Uh, we're going to have him cover it with tab canvas. Oh, my the, God. The, this the is so bad. To keep the air in. <laughs> that is such a big, big risk. But, I mean, how else is he going to get up there? Let's do this. Yeah, I mean... At this point, what else, right? It's a total crapshoot. Yeah, time to make all of these alterations, which it is, it's lunacy. Get everything out. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be hanging on by a dream. The launch takes 12 minutes, and it'll be 52 minutes before intercept. Once Mark's engine shuts off, we'll know our intercept point and velocity. Mm -hmm. Let's go get our boy. Yep. God, so much pressure. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that rover really did save its life. If he didn't have that, I mean, he'd be dead. Yeah, a little bit of a haircut. Okay, there you go. Whole world is watching. So yeah, he has no control of it. There's a bunch of stuff that is out of it. So he is literally just sitting cozy and tight. Just being launched into the air. Oh, God. About two minutes, Blackbee. How are you doing down there? I'm good. I'm anxious to get up to you. Thanks for coming back for me. Oh, we're on it. Pilot. Go. Copy, we'll go. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that tarp did not last very long. Do you read? probably passed out. He pulled 12 G's on the intent. Give him a few minutes. Wow. If we use 75.5% of remaining altitude adjust fuel, that'll bring the intercept range to zero. Do it. But the intercept velocity will be 42 meters per second. And that's way too fast. That is really, f oh my god. We'll have 39 minutes to figure out how to slow down. Well, oh god, okay. We have the Hermes. Guadney. Affirmative. I broke my ribs. Oh. Well, we're gonna get Damn. If I could find something sharp in here and poke a hole in the glove of my EVA suit, I could use the escaping air as a thruster and, and fly towards you. It would be easy to control. I'd get to fly around like Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not the worst idea. No, it is the worst idea. It's the worst idea ever. Uh. Not what he said, using atmosphere as thrust. What happens if we blow the valve? Wait, you want to open the vehicular airlock? It'll give us a good kick. Bogle? Uh, go ahead, Commander. God, quick I need thinking, you to come quick thinking. And make a bomb. Uh, again, Commander? You're a chemist. Can yeah. you make a bomb with what you have on board? I need you to place the charge on the inner door. Climb back to airlock two along the hole. Copy. Wow, I mean, risk after risk, they have to take. They have to. I am prepared to cut the suit. Absolutely not. Wow. Well, the thing is, I'm selfish. I, I want all the memorials back home to be about me. <laughs> I should have left this guy on Mars. Well, you did. <laughs> Got it? Be careful out there. In space. Oh. <laughs> Don't tell anyone I did that. Uh, <laughs> oh, Bomb set. God. This is... Absolutely insane, right? What's the intercept distance? 260 meters, approximate. That's too far. 
Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. That was so risky. That was so risky. Oh, God, just like freely trying to. Oh! Commander. Distance is too far. I'm going out. Activating panel 41. What's the relative velocity? 12 meters per second. Oh. Wow. That really, like, severely cut it then. Hook me up. Woo! Done. I visual on the map. Oh my god. Bridge? Oh, yep, that's it. Beck, unhook me. I'm going after him. Commander. What? I got this. Oh, yep. <laughs> You should have prepared a little bit more for that, huh? Oh my god. On my way, Commander. Iron Man time! Whee! Holy shit. <gasps> no! Grab onto that. Good, 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 good. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. I got it! Follow back! You have terrible taste in music. <laughs> Houston, this is Hermes Actual. We got him. Yes! <laughs> Hell yeah! Hey guys! Uh. Yay! Oh my god, no! I'm tearing up a little, stop it! Ah! Wow, okay. And there we go. Hey there. <laughs> Welcome to the Astronaut Candidate Program. Now pay attention, because this could save your life. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, really. All right. Questions? <laughs> yeah! Lots of questions. Oh, man. Oh, just a little bit more. And let's go. As the pursuit of scary spies begin the next chapter of America's space exploration. Pressure for good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go wow all right wow <laughs> that was absolutely a wild ride but it was so good that was really really well done wow this was truly a, again a very well done film but it was absolutely terrifying just the whole concept of being completely and utterly alone on a planet that has barely been touched in this movie and just n having things go wrong, not having enough food, like trying to grow food, being successful and being the first person to do that, but then having just things go wrong and having things explode and everything. Terrifying. And just the constant thought of like, how am I going to live? I mean, this was a slight like horror film in that way you know but mark was so freaking smart like he pretty much knew like exactly what to do the entire time like yes it took some time to think of things whatever but like he was diligent and he was motivated to survive and he was just like he was just smart he was and, and of course, again, like you need to be <laughs> pretty freaking smart in order to be an astronaut, and especially an astronaut that is going to Mars, right? Like, you know, but considering the circumstances, considering literally everything, he did so well. And I'm so glad he's alive. And I'm so glad that those astronauts went back for him. Like, I had no doubt in my mind that they were not going to say no. I know they absolutely felt terrible for leaving him there but they had every reason to believe that he was dead and hell like he got knocked the frick away from them he was impaled he probably didn't have very long in terms of oxygen so yeah they had every reason to believe that he was dead so of course they're gonna go back and get him of course 
I understand what the like the head of NASA was trying to do, trying to speed it up so they can get to supplies to him faster. But like you just risked all of that work to to speed up, uh, uh, yes, a good chunk of time. But like you can't sacrifice that. You can't sacrifice uh, inspecting your ship to try to get there. Like it's just it's not worth it because more often than not, there's probably going to be an issue especially because they're under so much pressure to get that done. Like, of course, right? Definitely a dumb move, but I'm, again, glad that they were able to figure out a different strategy. I mean, you had uh, Donald Glover's character pretty much just figure that one out, which was incredibly smart. With the help of China and their, like, technology and their ship, like, they were able to do that. So that's good. Very good. Everybody's good. Nobody's dead. And that is a pretty big positive. <laughs> So much happened in this movie, so much can be talked about, so many cool things and a lot of science and math were, were clearly involved in the making of this and it was just, again, a very well done, very entertaining, very scary film and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed myself. Mark Watney is a badass, all of those other astronauts are badasses and I'm very glad that they're all alive. And with that, I really do hope that you all enjoyed this reaction. And if you did, please feel free to like the video. And if you aren't already, please feel free to subscribe. And of course, if you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or it's anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. And to everybody over on Patreon already, I really do appreciate you over there. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying all the full unedited reaction videos and the access to the polls. If you want to find me outside of YouTube, you can absolutely do so you can find me pretty much anywhere at otb reacts i'm mainly on twitter but i'm also on instagram tiktok and twitch as well so yeah i really have nothing bad to say about this film it was thoroughly entertaining absolutely terrifying just you were on the edge of your seat at so many points i really enjoyed it overall and once again really do hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction and i hope to see you all in the next reaction video whatever that may be okie dokie toodaloo adios and goodbye <laughs>